This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is process manufacturing. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover, they are we will see process industry overview, process industry overview, master data required for process manufacturing, PPPA. Okay how the structure of the master recipe looks like. We'll understand what is master recipe and uh, how the structure of the master recipe looks like. Then operations and phases. What are operations and uh, what are phases? How the how the operations and phases are linked together, we will see. Then relationships between the phases. How the relationship between the phases are defined, we will understand that. Then production versions. Of course, we discussed this all. What is production version? how they are created and how they are used. Then planning process in PPPA, how the planning is done. Then process order creation, process order creation, how the process order is created. And finally, process order execution. Total, we will see the end-to-end -end process order execution. So these are the topics we will be covering in the process manufacturing, okay? so. Basically, uh, we have different industries, manufacturing industries. Previously, we covered uh, discrete manufacturing, okay, where we used production orders, okay, order related production with production order. So, in the discrete manufacturing, normally they will use production orders. Discrete manufacturing means they, it's like an assembly, okay. So, they take the parts, they take the parts. Uh, raw materials components and then they will just do the assembly that's all here this they will do the assembly so in these kind of industries we use the production orders which we covered already extensively okay uh, it is called discrete manufacturing discrete manufacturing so they take the raw materials input metals components they just assemble they will get your they will get their finished product but after getting the finished product, still they have the option of disassembling. When they disassemble, they will be getting their original materials. Suppose let's say if you take cycles, bicycle. So when you do, when, when, you, when you manufacture bicycle, what you will do, you take all the, um, the input materials like handle, tires, gear, okay, pedals, all those things you will take and you just assemble them, you will get the bicycle. But after manufacturing the bicycle, still you can disassemble. When you disassemble, again you will be getting your original parts. So that's why it is called assembly industry, like discrete manufacturing. Whereas there are some industries where the process manufacturing, that means once you manufacture the product, you cannot go back to the original materials from which it is manufactured. Suppose if you take ice cream, okay, ice cream. So ice cream, let's say, you manufacture using some some powders and liquids but once you make the ice cream is it possible to go to the original materials no not possible so that is called process manufacturing there we will be using process orders so today we are covering this one okay and the another one we have repetitive manufacturing this we will cover in the subsequent classes okay so we have discrete manufacturing process manufacturing repetitive manufacturing okay so this is discrete discrete manufacturing this is process manufacturing okay process and we have repetitive manufacturing this we will cover in a separate class so today we are looking at process manufacturing okay so PPPA is designed for batch oriented process manufacturing companies like pharmaceutical food beverage and tobacco industries so it's basically these kind of industries like just now i explained pharmaceutical food and uh, beverages those kind of industries process manufacturing forms an industry type where in the products which are manufactured cannot be easily disassembled once they are manufactured that's what i explained i took the ice cream example so once you make the product once your product is ready you cannot go back to the original materials, original raw materials from which it is manufactured. So like your uh, 
uh, ice cream the example which i gave previously or if you take a uh, what do you call uh, uh, tablets suppose let's say if we have any uh, fever or something we will take tablets right so those tablets and all once you make you cannot go back to the original materials that's why it is called processing process manufacturing it is impossible to be reworked upon these products so you cannot do rework on these products you can say making like chemicals medicines towels paper and steel kind of industries okay the production process is carried out in batches that is non reproducible units are characterized by certain specifications so normally here they will use batch management mandated okay what is batch management how it is used we will be covering in this separate session we will cover extensively on batch management also okay so this is the one we just discussed so process manufacturing is normally used in these kind of industries chemical pharmaceutical food manufacturing those kind of industries okay so here you can go for make to order production batch production you can do so whatever you want to do you can do here you have all the options here in the process manufacturing okay so this is the uh, total flow so planning more or less remains same same like discrete manufacturing you are planning okay so you you can do forecasting that forecasting is entered into the system using pas planned independent requirements and also from the sd module your customer orders will come sales orders those are entered into the demand management then they will run mrp when you run mrp you will get the planned orders till this part it's same like discrete manufacturing so once you get the planned orders those planned orders are converted to the product process orders so there in the discrete manufacturing we converted to production orders but here we will be converting them to process orders and of course flow also remains same more or less but there are minor changes so those things we will discuss today we will execute one full flow of process orders okay so now first we need to understand the master data required for the process manufacturing so here you have the material master as usual only thing is normally the material is assigned with a batch number so you need batches here so they will activate batch management for the material after that here the work center is called resource so in the discrete manufacturing we used work center here the machines are called as resources okay after that you have the bomb bomb and then you have the recipe here the task list is called as recipe master recipe there the in the discrete manufacturing we called it as routing here it is called as master recipe okay and these two are clubbed into production version we already discussed extensively what is production version how it is used so here the major changes one is resource another one is master recipe so there in the in the discrete manufacturing we called it as work center here you will call it as a resource we will create all these things in the system and here the uh, routing there in the discrete manufacturing we used routing task list okay here you will be using master recipe of course this master recipe will have some extra features so we will discuss those things today okay so this is the master data required so first we'll start with the material okay so material we understood already what is material how the material master is created okay what information is maintained in the material master everything we already discussed so i will be creating a material master so let me go to the system What I will do, I'll take the existing material, the system which is, which is already there. Sorry. Okay, let me take this material out. Okay, let me take this one. 
okay i'll i'll create a new material from copying from the another material, existing material so let's go to mm01 select industry sector let me select pharmaceuticals i'm creating a material called fort finished product material type fort okay i'll copy from an existing material just to save the time okay now as usual select views okay i'll select some views okay i selected some views okay so i'm basically just creating a finished product okay i will use plant double one double zero double one double zero okay continue okay so i will use it as uh, Well, let's create paracetamol tablets new okay so i'm just creating paracetamol tablets so normally when we get fever we use this one so i'm creating that tablets as a as this one okay now base unit of measure each okay let's continue okay so i'm just copying from the existing material so all the data is already populated okay only only the difference here is normally they will activate batch management so here you see the batch management is activated so this is the indicator here checkbox batch management that's already activated enter 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 done 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 okay so now we created a new product 159 the material code is 159 